Today we're going to do a procedure called tear trough augmentation. Tear trough augmentation is normally done with dermal filler. The tear trough specifically is a region that's under your lower eyelid. So it starts at about the corner of the eye on the inside and runs to the corner of the eye on the outside. So right at the top of your cheek. This area for some people is genetically deep and for others it becomes deeper over time as age starts to affect the mid face. Many people feel that when their tear trough is deep or shadowing a lot, that other people perceive them as being tired or upset when in fact they feel fine. So this can lead to a lot of frustration actually, and it is one of the top procedures requested here at Renew Metaspa. Now the tear trough is a very advanced dermal filler injection. It needs to be done by someone who's very experienced in the area because it can easily be overdone. And I'm often in a position, I should say, to correct tear trough filler that's gone bad. So you want to be very careful about who you select to do this procedure. In the past, we used primarily dermal filler in this region. More recently, we've started adding platelet-rich plasma. Now, platelet-rich plasma is something we use a lot at Renew. It is actually a product from your own blood. When you come in for a platelet-rich plasma procedure, we do a blood draw much the way you would have done at any lab if you were getting blood tests done. That blood that's removed actually contains about 55% red cells and about 45% water and other cells. The portion of the plasma which contains water and non-red blood cells is the part that we're really interested in because that portion contains your platelets and your platelets contain a lot of your growth factors. So growth factors are obviously something in regenerative medicine that we're very interested in. We're able to use an FDA approved sterile kit to separate out the red cells, to portion off just the part that's plasma, platelets, white cells, and then to concentrate that down so that we don't have to inject a very large volume in order to deliver the growth factors to where they need to go. In the case of the tear trough, I will take some of that platelet-rich plasma and actually mix it in with the filler as part of the injection. I believe that this actually extends the life of the correction, and it also does great things to the skin overlying the region. Many people who have this done with platelet-rich plasma will notice that the skin in the area is not as dark and just seems healthier and thicker in general. Occasionally, we'll do a tear trough procedure with platelet-rich plasma only if only a mild correction is needed or if that's what the patient's preference is. The procedure itself does not need to be uncomfortable at all. A very small area is injected with lidocaine and from there I'm working with what's called a microcannula. The microcannula in aesthetics has really revolutionized how we perform these procedures. It enables us to enter through a very small needle hole called a pilot hole and then move the cannula around very gently in various regions of the face so that we can deliver filler or platelet-rich plasma very comfortably. It minimizes trauma, it minimizes pain, um, it minimizes the likelihood of bruising, although that's not 100% guaranteed that you won't get a bruise. And it also makes the healing very easy. So again, instead of making multiple needle pricks you know, in the skin in a very sensitive area, we're able to minimize that, go in primarily with the microcannula under the skin, and deliver the product quite precisely where we want it to go um, without disrupting that skin barrier more than we need to. Sometimes on the outside of the eye, we will revert to the straight needle technique. Um, but again, this is just, it's an area where expertise and the eye and, and, and just going along doing what you need to do to deliver the product there is really what's called for. But it's nice to have that option to hopefully create a procedure with zero downtime.